So in an effort to reduce the amount of salvage wood that we have in the backyard, we've decided to find new projects that we can come up with that allows Zeb to build things and doesn't cost us any money. So all of this wood was salvaged from old houses, reclaimed, and we're gonna cut it up and make some ladders. Should be good times, cause man, we've got a lot of salvage. We collected it for a long time, and then Jamie has her furniture habit that she has, so we never get to building many furniture things. Furniture habit? I feel like it's a furniture business. It's a habit at this point. <laughs> All right, so I've got all the random nails out of these pieces of board. We're going to be making ladders out of them. I'm gonna use this to do the supports on one and this to do the supports on other. I'm gonna rip them down in half and then this will be the support material and the rungs. All right, so I got the side supports ripped down to the size that I want. If you didn't have salvage wood, you could easily use one inch common board. Just regular pine from the hardware store would work great for this project. This time I'm gonna do my rungs at 15 inches and see how it looks. All right, so I've got some of my supports all laid out and I've got some defects and chinks and things in the wood. I'm gonna leave that. I actually like that. It adds a lot of character to this. And before I really go measuring, I'm just gonna kind of lay them out and eyeball what I want it to look like, and then I'll go through and measure it once I get them close and make sure that they're all identical. All right, so this looks like pretty good spacing. I'm gonna actually measure them, see where we're at on these, and then get them all evenly spaced. So on mine, I'm putting the bottom right at nine inches from the ground of my lowest rung, and I'll do that on both sides. We decided to go with just regular nails on this, that way it gives it a really good, authentic look. These are just two inch nails. They should be plenty to hold this on. So I'm just measuring from the bottom of this other rung. My spacing is gonna end up being 12 inches apart which is just right about perfect for this little ladder. Now the overall length of the supports is 78 inches and I'm using six of these 12 inches apart and that's gonna give me pretty good spacing. And the bottom rung is only nine inches from the bottom here. So nine inches here and then 12 between them and that'll be just about right and look really good. So I'm cheating a little bit on this one and using the pneumatic staple gun. After those rungs were splitting using the traditional nails, I've, uh, I've gone to just using these so that they, uh, they don't split the wood because these rungs on this ladder are thinner. So because these rungs are thinner, I'm gonna add additional support on the backside on the top and the bottom. All right, so because I use salvage wood, these ladders are already looking pretty authentic and old and chippy. But where I cut the wood, we've got these raw kind of newly exposed fibers. And so Jamie's gonna take them and age them up so that it all looks really uniform. So now we're gonna be finishing the unfinished pieces because when you cut down old chippy wood, you always have some unfinished edges that look brand new, which doesn't go with what we're going for. We really want this to look like it was stained and painted a long time ago and it's aged over time. So we've got these raw edges and I'm using DIY paint and layered chocolate. I've mixed it up in my cup here. It's about eight to 10 parts water to one part paint. I don't ever measure. It's really like watery. And basically it's a faux stain and you can do this with any color. Sometimes I layer it on so I'll do like the the dark, the layered chocolate and then I'll use like letterpress gray and do like a layered age stain. But in this case, I'm probably gonna be putting on some milk paint so I'm not super worried about it. Paint pixie brush. Just take this watered down paint and you're just gonna put it on like you would apply a stain. It'll lighten up well and then you can also wipe it off. Once you get it on here like you would a stain, you're gonna rub it back off. And it's okay if it's not even and you don't get it everywhere. But now you can see that this old wood 
has a very similar color to this. I'm gonna do that on all the cut ends and anywhere where we've cut this wood. So when it's dry, you can see that it lightens up. You can see the wood grain, kind of like a traditional stain, but it's all natural. It's not as harsh. It blends really well with the existing finish. All right, so I'm gonna be adding some chippy milk paint to kind of give it a cohesive look. And I'm not gonna remove the existing chippy paint. We're just gonna kind of go with it. If you use milk paint directly over raw wood like this, it won't chip. Here's the ticket. Spray your raw wood with lacquer and it'll make your milk paint chip. So we've only waited about 15 minutes. The lacquer isn't completely dry, but I like to spray the milk paint on while it's still just a little bit tacky. It helps it crackle and chip a little bit. So with milk paint, it turns out differently every time. I'm giving you tips like the best way to get a chippy finish, but it's always different. Super original and like chippy finishes are never perfect. So if yours doesn't come out perfect, cut yourself some grace. So two things, you can brush on the milk paint or you can spray it. I'm using a critter sprayer. It works out really good because traditionally milk paint sticks to spray guns, but the crit critter, the way it pulls the paint up, it doesn't stick the same. I've mixed pantry door based off of the package direction and added a little bit more water and I mixed it with an immersion blender and I waited the, the full 15 minutes for that to kind of settle down and now I'm ready to spray. All right, one thing to keep in mind when you're using salvage, you wanna test your paint, make sure it's not lead-based. Always wear a mask and seal it really well when you're done because old wood can have harmful things in it and you always want to make sure you're taking care of yourself and anybody else that's gonna be buying it. Um, also, when you see how I painted this, you'll see that it's not like all the way 100% covered. That is exactly what we want because we don't want it to be full coverage and this color really matches like the original chippy green and that's kind of what I was going for. And you'll notice I didn't even bother to paint in certain places. Orbital 220, I'm just gonna sand this whole thing, watch it chip off and hopefully it looks the way I want. All right, so we don't know exactly what was on this wood all the years that it lived in the house that we took out of. So we're gonna go ahead and seal it. Also, the milk paint is, is water soluble, so we just wanna make it so whoever buys it can wipe it down. We're using Sweet Pickens Top Coat. It's all natural, it's super matte, so it won't look like it's been sealed, but we know that it is. So this other ladder that Zeb made we're not, we're not gonna paint it because we like the way it looks, but I am gonna use my orbital sander and distress the faux stain that I did on there just to kind of even out the look and then we'll go ahead and seal it for protection. I was finally able to make all of Jamie's chippy ladder dreams come true. I usually make them too wide or too short. She loves these ones. Well, I also love that they look like they were original ladders, not like we took salvage and cut it up because I hate like the raw wood edges and like the unchippy cohesive finish. So I love that you can like age old wood by just watering down paint. You can add different colors, to try to match it, or you can go all over with the milk paint. The tip I showed you about the lacquer and chippy also works for furniture. If you have a piece of furniture that's super dry, spray it with lacquer, paint it with milk paint, it'll make it resist a lot more. Because that's really the trick to milk paint. It has to have something to resist the paint, but not so much that all the paint chips off. So it's like this fine line of perfection. Yeah, otherwise it's just gonna all soak into the wood and there will be nothing to chip. And stay tuned because Zeb's gonna give you close-ups of all this chippy amazingness so you can see what it really looks like 
nice and close where we like fixed the edges and got it all chippy. So here's a rundown of products that we used. We used Sweet Pickens Milk Paint in Pantry Door, Sweet Pickens Top Coat. We also watered down Layered Chocolate, which is a DIY product, but you could also use our Fairy Chalk Mother or our Sweet Pickens um, suitcase would work. Any brown or gray paint, you can water it down for the wash. And then we also used lacquer. We don't sell it, but I'll have Zeb look it up. He can throw a link down below if you need to purchase some. You can order it on Amazon. All the products besides the lacquer can be found at jamierayvintage.com. If you've got any friends that are chippy lovers, please share this video. It really helps us out, helps us grow our channel so we can create more DIY videos for you. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.